now we're going to go in further we're going to use this chord to make our song sound better mature creative innovative um i've already worked on this job and this is one of the jobs from our um previous lessons and the production made easy um if you have the production made easy you should have this job and if you don't have this job you should be able to make this job fine as in just sounding this way so i've made some slight adjustments to the job now this is what it sounds like Now, let me explain something to you. If you've watched Production Made Easy and you've learned it well, you understand how we come about all of this. You should understand that well because we even taught this job there. Now, let me open this piano channel. Now, if you can look from your charts or from your jottings or from your notes or from the previous lessons on this piano, you can see this is A, C, and E. Then what chord is that? A, C, E. ACE is chord 6. If you are following, you know that is chord 6. So what I did is, I only play chord 6 throughout the entire bar. So listen. As simple as that, I'm playing chord 6 and it's even making sense. Just chord 6. Yeah. You can see it's sounding fine. I can go ahead and I can go ahead and um, do a freestyle with this just with cut six and let's make things um, sweeter uh, come back to this beginning on this road I'm going to do um, my road should be this yeah on this road I'm going to try different things I'm going to try different progression of chords now I'm going to try let's go with chord four chord five chord six then I'll stretch my six. Now, you need to understand that most times when you want to play a chord in a music, you play four chords in a music. And it doesn't really mean four chords. You can play one for the duration of two. So what I'm going to do is I'll play um, chord four for the duration of a chord, chord five for the duration of a chord, and chord six for the duration of two chords. This is what I'll do. So chord four is F, A, C. I want to make it longer, so that's Control A. Something like this. Um, let me come to this mode. That's uh, my pattern mode. If I pl press play, we already know all of this. I don't have to explain that. Then let me play chord five. G, B, then D. I'm sorry. Uh -huh, B. Then my chord 6 will be A, C, and E. A, C, and E. So. So now I want to drag this for the duration of two chords. So this is it. I want to push it down an octave. So control A. Um, this is F5. I want it to come to F4. So it's the same thing. So what I did. So I used chord 4, chord 5 and chord 1. Now let's listen to it with the song. I'll come back to my song mode. Do it again. So let me repeat it here. So no matter how you want it to be, okay, now let me choose another chord progression. I will use chord 2, chord 5, chord 4, and chord 6. Now let's try it. Chord 2, my 2 will be 
um d let me stretch this in let me cut this in my two will be d f and a so i'll remove this i said cut two cut five my five will be g uh b okay the already this is cut five cut two cut five cut four um let me select this and cut it in cut four will be um f a and c yeah then let's go to chord one uh, yeah that's chord one so So no matter how I want it in whatever chord progressions that I want to make it, but mind you, not all these chord progressions can just go in to themselves anyhow. In other recordings, I'll be teaching you the kinds of progression you can use to make things sweeter. You just don't really pick at random, though you might pick at random and get lucky. But um, what we really call progression in music, it's um, the progressiveness of this thing, there's, there's a way it sounds like it has to go in themselves um, smoothly, fine, sweet, like it brings out the, the, uh, it brings out the inner voice of what the singer is singing. In other lectures, we'll be learning on how to uh, identify what best chords should be used for um, the music as the rhythm is going because in most hip hop songs, uh, the singers often don't follow progressions, so it is left to the producer to bring out a very beautiful progression so that the music will sound fine. A lot of producers can make percussions fine, but to play that progression could be a very challenging thing. So I advise you to buy the second part of these videos. In this second part of the videos, I will explain better these chords. I will explain better on how to play on every other keys because for now we are still only on the key of C. So you will learn how to play your scale on the key of C, on the key of C sharp, E flat, and all of those 12 keys. I will explain that to you. I explain how to identify your chords on any of these keys. I will teach um, tetra chords, and this is tetra chords. I'll teach you tetra chords, and I will also give you some mixed uh, progressions, some different style of progressions that you can use to make your production sound better. Um, visit our website if you didn't get this video from the website www.fingertouchexclusive.com and check out other materials and if you have not seen production made easy yet I advise you to please purchase production made easy and uh, so your production can be made easy thank you